This is the Rijks Museum's brand new storage facility. Where the Rijks Museum normally has about 8,000 objects on display, here I am surrounded by hundreds of thousands of treasures. And I'm honored to call this place my home away from home. In the many years that I worked for the Rijks Museum, I held a lot of these objects in my hand. And some of them really get under your skin. I only remember having seen it on display once, but as you will see later, the object I'm carrying today is very happy to get some attention. Hi Wim, good to see you. Look what I brought today. It's oh. a small figurine that rarely ever leaves the storage. This is a Japanese little figure and it is a Chinese immortal and he has a three-legged toad. The toad is a, um, is a symbol of, of uh, immortality also. He, um, there is a toad that lives on the moon and he has the elixir of life. So in, in general, there's a link between immortality and toads. And um, you can also see leaves here around his yes. feet. And that might be the, the peach of longevity. Uh, so that's not a symbol of long life. And it could even be that he had something in his hand, maybe even a, a paper, a peach or something like that, to, to symbolize oh. that, so that he becomes a symbol of wealth and long life. And um, it's, it's quite fun to see, because if you look through the, the back, you can see that there's a kind of separation in the middle. Yes. Um, and it means that it's made in two halves into a mold. So you have a press mold um, that has the shape of the upper body and you press it into the mold with your fingers and uh -huh. you, can see, you can see finger marks in, in there. Oh, yes. You, you, of course, made it in two halves, then you loot them together mm -hmm. using clay and then you carve um, the, the decoration. This is actually has an iron wash on it to make it uh, look that, that, that browny color. Uh -huh. and you can see where the toe is broken off, the, uh, the original color, it's kind of gray ceramic. I have been wondering whether you could maybe burn incense from this, this figure, or um, because then as a kind of symbol of the, your spirit leaving your body, the smoke <laughs> from his, his mouth and eyes. Yeah, yeah. And maybe from the frog's mouth too. Uh-huh. And did you find traces of that? <laughs> no, I haven't actually. This object is not in a perfect condition. No. There are parts of, uh, of the foot missing. Does that, is that a reason why it's uh, in storage most of the time? Originally, yes. When I came to the museum and I saw him, you, you immediately see the little chip on his foot and it makes you feel uncomfortable and as a curator you have a tendency to think that you should everything should be perfect perfect <laughs> in the display but after a while i started looking at him and i thought he was really nice and he deserved to come into the display sometimes otherwise he'd be lonely there in the storage it's an object to live with isn't it i don't yes. know whether you would like him to have in your home or not well i would and <laughs> uh, and not because it's particularly pretty or something, but the interaction between uh, the man and the animal is, uh, well, they have a, each other's pleasant companion, so that makes it a, like a nice uh, uh, thing to look at. It so, appeals to you, yeah, yeah. I could live with it at home, yeah. I'm sitting <laughs> with my cat like this. So. <laughs> You're the immortal with the cat. <laughs> I'm immortal with the cat. <laughs> So I will now uh, put them back in storage and where they can rest until another occasion. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.